Hi guys, welcome to the first Mixology Monday with me, Michael Stringer of Blackleaf Events. We're here today in my very own kitchen at home. Um, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a few cocktails. Uh, this is going to be your, hopefully this is going to be your weekly cocktail guide. Um, I wanted to do something which was very straightforward, no fancy editing, no special effects, something where I could teach you how to make some great cocktails in your own home using the things you've got lying around your own house. Um, so today I thought I'd show you uh, a cocktail which I have uh, been asked about a lot of times, uh, hen parties, private parties in people's houses. Um, it's a very popular drink, it's called the Porn Star Martini. Uh, so this drink was actually created in London um, in a bar called Lab, which is the uh, London Academy of Bartenders, um, by a fantastic bartender uh, called Derek Ankara. Um, so let's get started. So you'll see I've got a martini glass here. Um, the products I'm going to use, I'm not endorsed by anyone, so these are just things that I've got lying around the kitchen. Uh, if there's other ingredients and other brands, just use them, it doesn't matter. Um, again, I'm going to be using cocktail equipment. Being a cocktail guy, uh, I've got a lot of it lying around. Uh, instead of a shaker, which we're going to be shaking this drink, you can use jam jars, you can use flasks that you put your tea in and take to work, anything you like. So the first thing we're going to go straight in there with is our vodka. Uh, today I'm using Stolich Naya Vodka. Uh, we're just going to add about 50ml. So I've just got this. This is just a glass I had lying around. You can use an egg cup or an actual measure. We're just going to put this in. This is about 40ml. Throw it straight into it. And then normally with this drink you would use uh, vanilla sugar. But we've actually got this uh, vanilla syrup which is pre-made. It's very easy to make your own as well. Uh, we're just going to do about 20ml. Um, it's very simple to make your own, as I said, just take any glass bottle, half fill the bottle with sugar, uh, top it with boiling water, be careful not to burn yourself, add a few vanilla pods and just leave it for a couple of days. Next up, we are going to use passion fruit juice. Uh, a lot of recipes will call for um, a passion fruit liqueur, but it's just expense that you don't need to spend. Uh, you don't have to have it, and unless you're making loads of these, you probably won't use it all that often. So we're just going to need 40 ml of passion fruit juice. Next up, we're just going to take a lime. Just going to cut our lime in half, and we're just going to squeeze half a lime. So that's about 20 ml of fresh lime juice going in there. Just squeeze it with your hands. You're drinking it yourself anyway. It doesn't matter. Get rid of that. Next up, we're just going to uh, take a handful of ice, and we're just going to throw a load of ice into a shaker or jam jar, whatever you're using. If you are going to use a cocktail shaker, make sure it's packed with ice, drop it on top, nice little hit, give it a really good shake. If you're shaking a drink, you don't want to be, you know, kind of gentle with it. You want to really make sure that you get the drink shaken. The aim of it is to hear the ice hit both ends of the cocktail shaker. Grab it tightly, give it a good shake. Quick little tap, let the excess run out. Then we're gonna use these. Um, again, just had them lying around. Uh, this is called a Hawthorne strainer. Sits on top of the glass, the uh, tin like this. And this is just a fine strainer. You can use a tea strainer, you can use anything you like. Um, in fact, I'll show you. Here I have uh, a, a, a rice strainer. We'll use this as well, it does the exact same thing. Just gonna pour this into a martini glass. Just gonna pour it straight through. So the reason we do this is, uh, obviously you put fresh juice in there. And when you're shaking the ice, you're gonna get little ice shards as well. Just gonna keep all that out. Uh, then comes the best bit. You can do this bit in two different ways. Uh, you can either have a shot glass on the side, or the way I prefer this, just to top it up. So, take any Good champagne. Uh, we're using Perrier Jouet. Uh, I actually had this um, from an event, just had it left over. So uh, we're just going to top this, and you'll see it gives a really nice froth on top. And uh, and that's it. That's uh, that's the easiest way to make a porn star martini in your own home. No special equipment. And uh, tune in next week to uh, to see what we're going to do.